what is up guys it is scumpy and i am bringing you part three of the getting to know seth trilogy as it will be after this video is up um if you haven't watched the other two videos uh check them out i'll put a link in the description for you guys but this is just sort of a time for you guys to get to know me and watch some beastly gameplay while getting to know me so right here we have a 48 and 3 i believe village tdm gameplay and I'm using the MP7 without the silencer, which is sort of shocking, because I only die three times. Typically, I'd die more if I was not using a silencer. But that's all that I'm going to talk about for the gameplay. Let's get into all about Seth. So, uh, one of the interesting topics that I was asked to talk about, which I didn't even think to talk about, was how my dad played in the MLB. And yes, my dad, uh, he played professional baseball for a couple of years. He was actually drafted right out of high school. He played for various teams. He played for the White Sox, the Padres, the Mets. Uh, he played for all those teams. And unfortunately, he could only play for a couple of years because he ended up getting hurt playing basketball with his friends. He ended up tearing his ACL. And if you guys know, that's a really hard injury to come back from, especially with baseball whenever you're like planting on the base real hard, you know. Uh, you have to put a lot of pressure on that part of your leg, and that's just really hard to recover from. So, unfortunately, that ended his career, and that's a shame because he was really good, and he played center field, and he was just a baller. And he played in the MLB, and I play MLG, so I was just wondering if that was a coincidence or if it was just meant to be. I don't know. But let's talk about how what, where I, what I want to do after high school. So... I go to high school right now, I'm a junior, and I am I just finished my SATs, my PSSAs, all my standardized tests, I'm pretty much done, one more marking period, but what I want to do after college is, I want to try and get, I want to try to get into a university campus, um, the two main ones for Pennsylvania are typically Pittsburgh and Penn State, and Penn State's a little bit harder to get into than Pittsburgh. I think you need like a 93 average and a pretty good SAT for Penn State. And for Pitt, you need like a 90 average and a decent SAT. So they're, they're pretty similar. But I definitely want to try to go to one of them. And if not, I don't know if I'm going to go to a satellite campus or if I'm just going to go to like a state school like Shippensburg or Bloomsburg or a school like that. But I'm not really sure. But what I want to do, I want to do something with uh, physical... Physical exercise, exercise, science, something. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to end up majoring in. Uh, I'm taking anatomy next year in high school, and I'm just, I'm really curious to learn about the human body and, like, how it functions. There's just so much shit that goes on inside of us that we don't even take into account for. We just do it. But that's what I want to do. I want to help people, I want to help people, like, strive to meet their goals. Like, I want to be a personal trainer. I want to see people improve. I want to see people change their lifestyles for the better, and I just want to make people happy, ultimately. And by, by helping them exercise, that's going to make them happier. That's going to maybe cut off some pounds, make them be looking better, and confidence is key in any situation. I mean, if you're confident, you're always going to be on top of your stuff. You're just going to be a better person, better well-rounded person in general. But now let's talk about... A typical day in the life of Scump, uh, people were asking me, what do you usually do on a regular day? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Like, how do you keep your skills sharp? What do you do? And I'm going to run through a schedule uh, for you guys of what an average day, a weekday is for me. So this includes school, but what an average day for me is like. So first I wake up, obviously. I take a shower because I don't want to stink like shit. And then I brush my teeth. And then I drive to school. People ask me what kind of car I drive also. And I drive a 2011 um, Ford Fusion. It's a V8 and a V8 motor. And it's it's white. It's not like a clear white. But it's like, um, I don't know. I can't, I can't really describe it. It's like a, an off shade of white. But I drive that to school. End up getting there like five minutes. And then I go through school. Uh, boring ass day. By my ninth period, I'm literally falling asleep. My ninth period class is the most boring class ever. Like, it's just so dull. It's history class. And we're learning about, like, um, slavery and segre segregation and all that stuff right now. But that's the most boring class ever. So after that, I come home. I'm, like, falling asleep while I'm driving home, which probably isn't good. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I don't actually fall asleep while I'm driving home. But... 
I come home, I eat something, and then I go straight to the gym, and then I come home, and this is where I start to start to practice. I'm starting to get into my nightly routine. I usually get on. I turn my Xbox on like first thing when I come home because I'm a freaking nerd. I just want to play. And then I'm going to usually end up taking a shower, drinking my shake, and then trying to eat dinner as fast as possible so I don't have to try and eat it while I'm practicing. And a typical day of practice is like we're going to get on. And then what we've been doing is we've been, in, been doing show matches, which is a best of nine. Um, I just did a live stream actually this tonight, uh, the night that I'm making my movie. My, not my movie, my video. I, I made a live stream, I did a live stream, and we played Optic Gaming. We ended up losing 5-4, unfortunately, but it's all good because they're a really solid team. And you can watch that, I'll put that in the description as well. But, so we play them, they usually take, tip, they typically take like, I'd say, in two, two hours, two to three hours for one show match, if they go to the ninth map. And how it works is it's best of nine, so the first team to win five maps wins and sometimes we tie CTF so that takes an extra 10 minutes to replay the whole map so sometimes they just take an excess amount of time and that's really all the practice that I do other than playing pubs sometimes I don't know how I dodge this thing by the way but other than playing pubs sometimes to get um, footage for you guys to watch my videos I really just I really just chill out you know I really enjoy playing StarCraft I'm not sure if any of you guys are fans of StarCraft it's a big title on MLG really enjoy that and then after that it's usually about 12, 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. And that's what time it is now when I'm making this video. Um, that's coming to the end of the gameplay here. You can see 48 and 3. Really nice. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like and a favorite. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. But thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Later.